everyone. Welcome back to HGTV Handmade Throwback Thursdays. This is Gracie, I'm Meg, and I don't know about you guys, but we've gone on some fantastic trips this summer. It's the end of summer, which is kind of sad. So let's relive some of those trips by making our own scrapbooks. Let's head on over to DIY Scrap to learn how right now. She's called a freestyle scrapper, which means she throws traditional out the window. My friend Emily Falconbridge is going to show us a cool, funky way to keep your travel memories alive. Alive. And Perfect. well. And portable. Yes. This little album of mine is one of my favorites that I've made. I made it's, it about it's cool. two years ago when um, I went on a round the world trip with my husband and daughter. Lucky. So instead of waiting till I got home and maybe forgetting, you know, some of the cool things that happened on our trip, I uh. kept this with me, um, a small little album that I bought and created from um, scratch. That's great. So you did this while you were traveling. I had a few supplies with me, um, watercolor paints that I would lick my finger with, uh -huh. dip it in the paint and smear it around to get some color on my page. I had a pen, I had a little piece of sandpaper. Small, little, easy carry, um, carryable yes. items. I don't think I even had scissors with me because that could have gotten me in trouble on would, the airplane. Would you tear but I had I did tear some things cool. or you know find scissors at people's houses or whatever. A glue stick and that was basically it. So I would um, journal as I was sitting in like airports waiting for planes. I left lots of space and bound photos in mm. afterwards. Um, now, did you did you glue the photos back to back here? How'd you? I did. I oh, just great, stuck great, them back okay. to back and punched holes to bind them right in. So, and here I wanted to get some extra photos, so I made a little fold out Very cool. um, fold out piece. It's a now, lot to look at. There is which now the, is gr lots of great color too. The cool thing about this album is that it's bound in two different ways. We've got spirals down here and here, and so um, it could really be interactive. And I even convinced my husband to keep a journal in this little section this down is, the bottom. Your husband made this, and then you incorporated it. It is, and he actually got oh, quite creative. Cool. Yeah, I was he did. pretty impressed. Basically, we need two pieces of chipboard. One is going to be the back. Uh -huh. So chipboard can be found. Um, you can you can even cut this from cardboard boxes, uh -huh. um, but you can buy sheets of chipboard from art supply stores or um, hard stores. Um, this one I've got to make the back, so I've already punched the holes down no, the side. How, how do you get these perfect little square holes? Well, perfect they may look, but they're actually not. I, that's um, it adds to the funkiness. That's, that's right, cool. That's right. I basically just did little dots with a pen uh -huh. and then got my square punch. Okay, I don't have just, one of those. You Very need one. Cool. I you do. really do. And then just punched along. And so it really doesn't matter if they're not totally perfect because we're going to line it up and as long as they're the same on the front and back, right. okay. it's going to work. For the cover, Emily cuts smaller sections out of the large piece and then covers her pieces for the front with Mod Podge and puts them down on decorative pieces of paper. Instead of trimming it with scissors, Emily sands the edges of her paper. Then the paper tears almost perfectly. To get rid of any excess bubbles on the paper, instead of using a brayer, Emily wads up a piece of wax paper. After she lines up the front and back covers, I help her punch the holes. Next, Emily winds some wire around a paintbrush. Then the spiral is used to bind her book. Look how easy. After vacationing, this book will be a great piece of art. Well, this is another book that I have basically done the same exact same technique. So I've mm -hmm. got chipboard, covered it in that same way that I just showed you, punched many, many holes, and um, bound it with little strips of fabric. I like oh, to that, use instead that. Instead of the wire, you just tied Yeah, I just tied of, knots. Very cool. So instead of ribbon, I like to just rip fabric up. And this was like lots of spare photos from a trip that I maybe didn't want to scrapbook traditionally, so mm -hmm. I just stuck them back to back with each other to make the pages. Oh, that's great. You do this on the, on the go too, or when you got I home? I didn't. I got this when I got, when I got home. Oh. Okay. Um, this is from a different trip. Um, my daughter just loves to look at little books like this rather than picture books. Right, and I right. think it's a great way to use up spare photos from a trip or extra photos. You know, you can just sometimes little, yeah. go a little crazy with the trimming, photo taking. Trimming pictures, you could maybe use the little extras and put exactly. a whole book in the, That's right. the rejects. And you know, you could go over the top and do journaling over the top or put stickers or rub-ons over the top of this if you wanted to. Great. I've just left it as a little picture book for now. Now, what is this thing here? What, what do we got here? Okay, we have a little travel okay, canvas Okay, it's not a book. It's here. a little 
little no, piece of art. No, but you know what? This could be a book cover. Right. It's a piece of um, canvas board, um, which can easily be found. It's really cheap to buy. That actually um, make a great board cover. on the it's back. Nice and thick. Canvas on the front. Good and, idea. And you know, you can have this. You know, I like to have it leaning up in my bathroom just mm -hmm. to remind me of my trip and to add some color to my home. So we get this yummy, thick texture. With I love. Yeah, texture is just awesome. A just product. Juicy something to look at. Mm -hmm. Feels so yummy to use. Um, any kind of structure paste, texture medium, impasto medium, it's Gel medium sometimes. So it's in nice America. and. Do you want to smell it? It looks like white frosting. Yep. Doesn't smell it's very kinda, good though. No, it kind of stinks. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I thought you might like that. So um, I like to just get a plastic knife that I can throw away afterwards because I'm all for the not having right. to clean things up. And it's basically just like making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or frosting a cake. I like to leave the kind of lumps there. Exactly. You can just spread just it in all different. Coming and going texture. Mm -hmm. Do you want to have a try? Please. It's nice and fun. So you just spread it on all different directions. It is like frosting a cake. You, you can even you get swirls, like a sharp right? yeah. tool and create your own, you can always scratch cool. your own words or scratch your own patterns Yeah, when it's in. dry, you can also kind of work with it, can't yes, you? Yes, you can. So I've got one here that I made earlier. Okay. Nice and dry. We're going to paint this up. Do you like to get messy with paints? I love to paint. So I just like to just like grab a step big... Back grab a big blob of paint and just, I just find this very freeing for my right. soul to just splash around with color. I like to use paint on most of my projects for that very reason. And you know, you can add a little bit of water to help it extend it out further. This is pretty easy to paint. It kind of paints itself. I am very huh? impressed with you, your artistic well, ability. You did, you did three quarters of it. So you know, I when this is dry, right you there. can even go over it again with another color right. and white pieces okay. back. So there we have it. And then I just adhered my um, pictures and a chipboard, chipboard letters to spell out Thailand. Stuck a few embellishments. I would know on. how to spell Thailand. <laughs> I'd have to look that up. And then you have a beautiful little piece to just sit on a shelf and remind you of your very cool your trip. Well now, we really want to take a trip around the world. I mean, the beach was fun, but that's some next level stuff. How are you documenting your fantastic trips this summer? Making any scrapbooks? DIY projects? Be sure to let us know in a comment below. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, Gracie.